Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Route Double Before Crime After Days Extend Edition. In the last episode, we found a hot girl in flames. Oh my. And if you guys missed that episode, then click on the eye that appeared on the top of the video to watch the previous video so you guys are caught up. And just then... <gasps> There she is! Oh, we found her! Hooray! He saw the girl approaching the Area 5 connecting passageway. Why is she running? If she went through that gate, he wouldn't be able to keep chasing her. <gasps> and... Aww. Oh, she just... Okay. Why does say desperately called out to her, but the girl just kept on running. However, there was something off about the way she did so. Watase looked closer and noticed that there was a bandage wrapped around her upper arm. You, you didn't notice that? She got hurt? Yeah. Then that only proved that he had to bring her under his protection as soon as possible. Watase ignored his headache and tried to chase after her when... <gasps> oh, okay. You say so, voice. Huh? A voice echoed in his head. What is that? It's like a beep boop bop, beep beep bop. Oh, okay. It was the same voice he'd heard in his head when he tried to save Yuri. But now it was trying to stop him from rescuing that girl. Oh. Why does he shook off that voice and chased after the girl? But a second later. Oh? Huh? Pain in his head suddenly magnified. Why does he instinctively leaned against the wall? Hmm. What what's happening? Wow, I apologize if anyone heard that. That was the sound of a really, really, really loud uh, controller rumbly. I don't know why it's rumbly. It, I don't even have an option for that. Weird. Dude, I didn't even know there was controller support. A light shone in front of his eyes at the same time his vision was rapidly devoured into darkness. Well... Should have listened. And with that, his consciousness fa What happened? Hazard. 9, 16, 20, 30, 10, 41. Hmm. His consciousness was in eternal darkness. Isn't that a video game? That the ability to rely on his five senses, he had no clue where he was. Probably dead again. I'm... His hazy mind just barely managed to construct that thought. He then made out the sound of someone breathing nearby. What? Uh... Professor Ina? Ina-sensei? Why are you coughing really loudly? Huh? What happened? When he opened his eyes, he saw half of someone's face. That's not someone's face at all. That's someone's big bosoms right there. Look at that. Look! It seemed someone was walking while carrying him on their shoulder. You're carrying me? You must be super strong. Captain Asasagi? Who's that? No sooner had he thought this, then, then did everything come back to him. That's right, I found conscious. How? Did you forget everything again? Did... He died, didn't he? Watase's five senses swiftly recovered with that thought. Sensei? Uh, yeah. How'd you find me? How'd you get over to where I was? How'd you not get exposed to all that, um, radiation? How'd you get through the fire? 
There are many questions. Are you carrying me by yourself? That's incredible. Last thing Wahase remembered was chasing that girl. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because. Oh man. I honestly don't know because. Fine. I'm just gonna go with this. He tried to recall what happened after that, but all he found was a total blank. How? Was the fire gone? Wait, what? Wait, hold, hold on. So... What? I, I'm confuzzled. How did she find me? I thought she went the other way around. They really trusted you with 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 a lot of strength. See, I didn't even know when that was gonna end. Okay, well at least we got plus one. You carried me all the way up those stairs. You are one strong woman. Watase gave Ina a wry smile, then suddenly remembered something. Uh, she ran away. Hmm. So, how did... Oh, wait, okay, we're running out of time now because it's 10.41, apparently, and... Uh, hmm... Uh, Kazumi is, uh, almost up on that time. Watase had no clue where she disappeared to. He felt like he'd seen her running off somewhere just before he collapsed. He'd been hit with a particularly painful headache right after that, causing his memories around that point to be extremely vague at best. Yeah, you almost lost your uh, memory again, somehow. But he knew for a fact that she'd run away. I don't know. Only you know. Only you can prevent all these fires. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Well, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. But thinking back on it, Yuri had clearly been scared back when he'd first met her. Perhaps Watase's face looked especially frightening to them in an environment like this. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. No, or maybe, maybe the girl had also found those bodies. Edwin would be shaken after seeing something like that. Those bodies? Huh. <gasps> Wait. Okay, so my theory right now, my theory is that when we first got knocked out, right? Or died? Oh! Or... Oh, okay. I, I think I understand now. The monster, or the the monster, quote unquote, is um is very powerful in uh, psychic abilities. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I don't think I died, but but you know my uh, but the monster guy is uh, very very strong with psychic abilities. So he probably mind controlled me, right? This is my theory. He mind controlled me, and then when they were safe in that room, if you, if you guys remember uh, the the room 
where uh, those people died. Since they were, since they were safe in that room, uh, me, the one that's being mind controlled, killed people inside there, and that is probably why that girl is afraid of me. And Yuri was also in there too, and she was afraid, super afraid. So that might be the best theory we have so far. All right. Things are kind of coming into place now. Let's continue on. In the end, Watase was no closer to figuring out the truth. Watase sighed and looked to Ina. Aww. Ina gasped, then smiled. Yeah, but if I died, I wouldn't have been good. Oh, huh. so she probably has psychic abilities, that girl, uh, Sanomiya, and somehow is preventing all the radiation from getting to her. Probably. Oh, maybe that wound on her arm is from is from a a bullet. Oh, that might be it. しかし、彼女は汚染区域に逃げ込んだ。被爆している可能性がある。待って。それについても希望があるかもしれないわ。Is <gasps> there? Ina said that and took something out. It was an empty AD ampule. Oh. Huh. Interesting. What is she psychic, Ina? She couldn't be optimistic. It was very unlikely that she had a Procyon. Ina continued talking. Wait, does she? Maybe, maybe she does have a Procyon, because if, if he was in that room where, uh, where I was, uh, mind controlled, um, and when I killed everybody, maybe he, maybe she took the Procyon from the other guy. Oh. She's a prodigy. Oh, okay, wow. Hmm. So yeah, uh, everything I'm saying, by the way, of, you know, mind control, all that, that's all speculation. So it's, it's, it could be right, it could be wrong, I don't know. Well, wasn't she with the, uh, that guy and the other girl? Even if it was only a faint hope, Watase felt he should believe in it. He then continued speaking in order to assuage Ina's concerns even further. Aww, are you hitting on her now? Aww. さっき下の階であの生徒を見たとき、私も行くわって言ってただろ。あんな炎の中に生徒のために飛び込もうとする教師、立派じゃないか。いや。あんなしのしだいでん。でんちざふう。あんなの。三宮さんの顔を見た
colleagues of you know about you of the past you i'm pretty sure uh, you were not uh you know huh? ina stared at watase with an inquisitive glance he responded by talking about his own experience いや、直前でモリベに止められた。はら。しまらないわね。いや、that might also be the reason of his amnesia because if it was i guess you know a psychic attack and he was mind controlled like he the attacker you know had that much power he could probably wipe you know wipe his uh memories you know so that's probably that's probably why he doesn't remember anything you know at all Ina gave Watase a wry smile. Really? Well, I mean, th there's a stranger danger. I'd be afraid of people too. Nara,いいんだが、いや、よくはないか。ま、シャキッとしてなさいよ。no you man up あなたは記憶なくすは倒れるわ確かにちょっと足りないけど一生懸命なのは認めるからこれ not my fault。その地売りさんもみんなも認めてくれるはずだわ。I hope so。そうだな。ぐじぐじ言ってじゃ、それこそ情けないよな。What has he felt himself getting all pumped up again uh, from Ina's stern encouragement? An intrepid smile then appeared on Ina's face. Sure, what? Um, probably all the way. I'm pretty sure Watase is cupping a feel right now. Pretty sure. Watase quickly moved away from Ina as soon as he realized she was still carrying him on her shoulder. Yeah, let's see how the progress is going there. Watase and Ina nodded at each other and broke off into a run. By the time they had made it to the door to the control room, Yuri was already there waiting for them. Oh? What for? And we will find out in the next episode, everybody, of Root Double Before Crime after today's extended edition. Oh man, a lot of things are happening. We got a pep talk. We got a new theory as to what's going on. And now we're in the control room. See how everything is doing. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! By the moonlight, the shadow sits on the slide and rides to the bottom, landing only a few meters from Toko. Wow, she's got giant boobs. <laughs>